This week, we are taking a short trip to a National Historic Site tucked away on Lower Vancouver Island. Fort Rod Hill and the Fiskard Lighthouse see thousands of visitors a year, not making it a remote or lost place, but one full of Canadian history, and it only lays 12.5 kilometers or 7.8 miles from downtown Victoria. In this episode, we'll take you to the lighthouse and talk about the history and why this place is so interesting. The weather continues to be dismal, but we are joined by some good friends to explore this place for the day. Easy to find and easy to access, Fort Rod Hill is definitely a place you should check out if you're in the area. You won't be disappointed. The trails in the park are easy to navigate and you will find multiple pieces of military hardware along the path. There is an encampment of tents standing alone in a field that you can actually rent for the night and stay in if you're feeling adventurous. I wonder what it would be like to be stationed here back in that time. Designated a National Historic Site in 1958, it was operational from 1878 to 1965 and was established in the defense of Victoria and the naval base at Esquimalt Harbour. You will find multiple buildings and sets of bunkers and gun emplacements throughout the park. This bunker is set up as a communications and planning bunker with period correct artifacts for you to set your gaze upon. Named after HMCS Fiskard, the Fiskard Lighthouse stands guard at the entrance of Esquimalt Harbour and has done so since 1860, lighting the way for naval and commercial shipping traffic and it is still in operation today. It overlooks Esquimalt Harbour, still home to Canada's Pacific Fleet. It is the first permanent lighthouse established on Canada's west coast. Feel your color on my head. We were lucky enough to see an elephant seal mixed in amongst the driftwood. Here she is in the center of the frame. You. From all my simple future plans. In the early 1940s, the alkaline lamp in the tower was replaced by an electric light, and in 1950 to 51, a causeway was built to the Fiskard Lighthouse by the Canadian Army to grant access to the lighthouse by land. I just simply want to love you And simply feel I lack a choice I know Ready? that you feel this This place definitely holds a certain charm only found in historic buildings and park staff work tirelessly on upkeeping the lighthouse to a rigorous standard It have to be complicated it's as simple as me and you Love's a symphony already orchestrated We can sing up when we The lens, lamp apparatus and lantern room were brought from England by the first keeper, Mr. George Davis. If we simply 
you start a family And scrape the barrel to get by That will simply be enough for me To find meaning in this life in 1859, the cast iron spiral staircase was made in sections in San Francisco and was then shipped to Victoria to install in the lighthouse. It's just not long enough. It doesn't have to be complicated. When you stand in any room of the lighthouse, you can really get a sense of what life must have been like for its keepers. Loves a symphony already orchestrated. We can sing along when we say I do. Permanent steel shutters were added to the landward side of the lantern room sometime after 1897 when concussion from the six inch guns at Fort Rod Hill caused cracks to appear in the lantern windows. In total, the lighthouse saw 12 different keepers who ensured the light burned brightly to aid ships in navigation no matter what the weather. Simple as me and you Loves a symphony already orchestrated We can sing along when we say I do If you are in Victoria, Visit the Fiskard Lighthouse. It's like stepping back in time. And as always, I wish you were here. <laughs>